Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you all have seen from the thumbnail, I'll be creating two different DIYs using these wood blocks. For this part, I'm just putting all my wood blocks into place before gluing them together. I always like to use this wood glue to hold my blocks together, which it does a pretty good job. If you are a crafter, let me know down in the comments if you use a different glue and how well does that work for you. I like to let the glue sit there for a little bit and then wipe the excess off. For this next step, I'm going to glue them all together. Y'all see all these open spaces. All I'm going to do is fill them in with more wood glue to make them less visible. I'll let this glue sit for a minute or two and then I'll wipe the excess off. These blocks will be for the top layer and it's basically the same steps as I did for the bottom layer, just a different setup. This is the bottom layer and I'm gluing these blocks down to help hold the top layer up. As I was gluing these blocks down, I didn't realize that I glued them down on the wrong side. So in a second, you guys will see me re-gluing these down. I was supposed to glue them down like this and once I'm done with this side, I will complete the same exact steps for the other side. I'm just using this top layer as a guide as to where I'm going to glue these blocks down. Now I'm gluing my blocks down and you want to be sure you hold them in place for a few seconds before proceeding. This is what I have so far and I'm not going to glue the top layer down yet because I still have to get inside to paint it. While project number one is drying, I'm going to go on ahead and get started on project number two since I will be painting both of them at the same time. For this step, I'm creating about eight to ten individual pieces of these shapes. These pieces right here will be the bottom layer. This piece will be the strip to hold all my squares together. So now that all my pieces are dry, I'm going to go on ahead and glue the bottom piece to the long piece first. Be sure to hold it in place for a few seconds before proceeding. Originally, I didn't plan to add two strips to this project, but I had to go on ahead and make another strip because the squares was slipping and sliding all over the place. So if you are going to recreate this project, then I suggest you add two strips 
and you want to make the strips before you glue them down. You don't want to do it how I did it because this part was a bit complicated. I'm using this black premium acrylic paint in my foam brush to cover both projects. Now that everything has dried, I'm going to glue the top layer down. Some of these pieces don't meet with the top layer, so I'm just going to go on ahead and put glue on the ones that do. This modern decor was fairly easy to make. It is actually a lamp or nightlight, however you may view it. I added a LED light and I put a few pieces of electrical tape around it so it can blend in. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. This turned out amazing as well. These two projects are for those who love that simple modern decor. But y'all know I have to put my twist on these, so just keep on watching. If you don't apply your paint in evenly strokes, then this is how it can end up looking. But I suggest you sand your wood blocks first, then paint them to give them that flawless finish. To put my twist on these, I'm using these rectangular mirror tiles that I purchased from Amazon a while ago. These are self-adhesive and I do reuse these. I love using these paired with the wood blocks because you can just do so many things with them. These are self-adhesive, but I'm adding a little glue to make them stick better. For this last step, I'm adding these silver beaded necklaces around most of the perimeter of my lamp. Now this is stunning and more of my style. It kind of looks like a building and not a nightlight. Comment below which style you like better. I'm kind of doing this one the same way, but of course it's different because of the setup. I decided to switch it up a little bit and use the gold necklaces for this project. I wasn't expecting this to turn out as good as it did, and I think I like this one better. Both pieces look very high in. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're curious to see what I create next, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video.